What's up guys? Welcome to your 131st Android tutorial for the new boss and what we're going to do in this tutorial, uh, well we're basically going to get our map working. So the first thing I want you guys to do is open both your layout and uh, your main file, main Java file. And uh, these are the two classes that we're going to work with. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is in our XML file, um, right now we don't have any kind of Google map reference. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're actually going to delete that text that's in there. Uh, just delete that and then we're going to go over to the, the website where we got our key and we're just going to actually copy this reference right here that they give us and this is basically for the XML layout um, it's a map view which is actually going to be used to see your map and when we change our our key later when we're actually signing our project to the market we're going to change this reference right here um, which with this code um, once we get a new code I should say for the for the market Anyway, so we're going to go back into our XML file, and we're just going to hit Control V here, and we have our map view for the most part set up. We might also want to add a reference so we can refer to it in Java. So we're just going to say ID equals quotations at plus ID forward slash MV for map view uh, main something like that. Now we're pretty much done uh, for now in this tutorial with the main XML file. The next thing that we want to do is we want to set up a reference and also set up this Java class. And the only thing that we're going to pretty much change is it's not called an activity anymore. Um, it's actually going to be a map activity. So you guys want to make sure you change that, otherwise it's not going to work. And then we just have to import that and implement the method from the Mac map activity. And we're pretty much good to go. Uh, again it won't work if you have the activity um, we need a map activity so that's pretty much the key point for this for this tutorial and then we're also just going to go into our imports and delete the activity one because we no longer need that since we're working with map activity uh, so there we go we're pretty much good let's just set up our reference real quick so let's make it a variable up here map view um, map we're going to call it and import map view nothing new again for the most part here but we're just setting up the setting up all the good stuff uh, view by id and then if everything's set up right we can run it and uh, we're just going to hit and we should get something like this. So pretty neat, pretty cool, all that good stuff. Um, but let's say we want to enable a zoom function uh, within our map. So we're just going to set that up real quick. Pretty simple. We're going to say map dot set built in zoom to be true. And now when we run our application again. All right, for some reason I thought when we ran it, there'd be two buttons for a zoom, like zoom in and zoom out, but, you know, I guess we don't. But now we have the built-in zoom available where we can, you know, scroll or use two fingers to zoom in, zoom out, all that stuff. Um, so pretty much that's it for this tutorial. Pretty simple uh, for the most part. And just to mention, if you guys are getting like a gray grid, which, you know, might appear the first time you run it anyways, uh, so just wait a couple minutes, and if it's still a gray grid, uh, a gray grid, you want to probably go back to the previous tutorial and make sure you uh, get another uh, another key for your application and just change your key reference to make sure it works. Um, maybe you type one letter in wrong when we we're trying to get our key or or certificate uh, for the fingerprint. Um, so just make sure you go back, type it in and do it that way uh, and hopefully I'll get rid of the gray grid that you guys might be having. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next tutorial where we're gonna do some more map crap. So see you later.